Ruby Volume 5 Chapter 6 known by its song has officially released. So let me break it down for you. So Crow is looking for old huntsman friends of his to possibly help him defend the school. But to his bad luck, they're literally all dead. Or missing, let's be an optimist and say, yeah, you've been gone for weeks and still haven't returned and your family thinks you're dead, but you're possibly still alive. But more than likely, you're dead. But Crow did possibly indirectly recruit a guy who likes to whittle noodles out of wood. So he's got that going for him, maybe. Anyway, back with Raven, we learned the truth. And by truth, I mean literally nothing we didn't already know. Team Stark was much like Team Ruby, Ozpin is old and created the schools, Salem is evil grim lady. The amount of large scale new information wasn't there at all. There wasn't even something alluded to that could be considered important down the road. The two bits of new information that we learned is that Raven and Crow enrolled into Beacon to learn how to kill Huntsmen, and Ozpin quote unquote gave them magic abilities to turn into birds. Fun facts, yes, grand scale information, not so much. So Raven gives Yang a choice, stay with me and I'll tell you everything, or go to Ruby. Yang, of course, picks Ruby. They hug, they cry, they awkwardly leave Weiss out of it initially, then they group hug. So obviously the bulk of this episode came from Raven. Now here's the thing about Raven. I originally didn't have an opinion on her until here, really. She debuts in Volume 2, that's cool, I guess. Volume 4, she actually conversates, but still not enough to get a true feel as to what her personality is. But thanks to this episode, I am all about Raven. Her mentality, that's me. Why do you accept and trust everything that's told to you? You need to question everything. That is the way I like to watch this show. I like to throw some shade onto the heroes, shine a light onto the antagonists. I love trying to make people think differently or question what they know. What Raven did this episode, in universe, she did Jack. Maybe Yang and Weiss will potentially keep a wary eye onto Ozpin once they're reintroduced, but I doubt they're blowing the lid on Ozpin. That's probably Oscar's role if Ozpin is to not be trusted. That's probably Oscar's role to warn everyone. But outside of Ruby, Raven is making a portion of the audience question things now. When you have a character in universe who isn't an antagonist say that the good guy isn't as good of a guy as you think he is, that makes a portion of the audience question things. In volume 3 or back, if you were to say Ozpin's a good guy, he's the hero, the vast majority of people would say yes and agree. But now, with Raven's statement, if you were to say Ozpin's a good guy, he's the hero, you're gonna have significantly more people push back and say, is he though? I don't know if I trust him. She didn't turn the tide, don't get me wrong. I'm sure the majority of viewers still do trust Ozpin, but Raven is definitely causing some waves in terms of trust, and I love it because I love doing that. But aside from her personality and her outlook on life, boy did she not do anything. For saying, I'm gonna tell you the truth. There was a severe lack of substance. Salem controls the Grim. Solid job, you got that truth down, nailed it. Everything else, kind of half-assed. She throws a lot of shade onto Ozpin and doesn't elaborate. She goes on this whole rant about how Team Ruby and Stark are the same and how they got special treatment. That conversation went nowhere. She says how each discovery that she made about Ozpin got worse and worse. She doesn't elaborate on any of these discoveries. She doesn't even bring up the whole God curse portion of Ozpin. You know, the whole reincarnation thing. She kind of brushes past it saying that she knows people who can come back to life, but doesn't tell Weiss and Yang that that's Ozpin. It was a lot of half-assed truths. For someone you don't trust and felt as if he was just using you for his own goal, Raven definitely wasn't making a solid reason as to why Yang should stay away from him. You'd imagine it'd be something like, hey, Ozpin killed your sister's mom or something like that. I'm not saying that that happened, just something with that amount of weight to deter Yang from assisting him. It shouldn't be this like convoluted riddle for Yang to figure out over time. When is Yang supposed to realize that Ozpin's bad when one of her teammates dies as well? Raven, you didn't do a great job this episode. I love you now because of this episode, but boy did you not word good. Raven's portion of this episode just felt like she was catching Weiss and Yang up on everything that was happening. Crow told Team Ranger about all this stuff. Raven has now told Weiss and Yang about all this stuff. I can't wait for the episode where we spend the entirety of it catching Blake up on all the nonsense, while doubly catching everyone else on her nonsense that she's been up to. It's just a lot of recaps and information that we already know as an audience. Some of the information as well were also delivered weird, like when Raven told them that Ozpin planned and built all the schools. Yang asked how, but said it doesn't matter why. It's like, no, it does matter how he did this, as well as why. I mean, I know how, and I know why, but it doesn't mean you could just brush past this information. So it was weird sometimes. I also wasn't a fan of Yang's call out to having seen Raven in bird form before. It just seemed like the writers felt like we as the audience wouldn't put two and two together. Like the volume 3 finale, the yellow trailer, or other random moments. Like, it's good to confirm that Raven can turn into a raven, but the call out was the, 
look how clever we are. Like with Crow, once he told us that his semblance was bad luck, we connected the dots as to the random things that were happening. But Yang's like direct comment as to seeing her before, I wasn't a big fan of. If you want me to mention the reuniting part that happened, I definitely had more feels when it was just Weiss and Yang because there were only two people involved and I guess it just feels more intimate. But this episode, I was immediately aware that Weiss wasn't initially included. I just thought, well that's awkward. By the time she joined, the moment was already gone. Which is weird, because it's usually the family and sibling stuff that gets me in shows. But I guess awkwardness kills moments like that for me. But despite all the negative things that I just said that makes it seem like I didn't enjoy it, I did actually enjoy this episode. In hindsight, the episode really kind of falls apart. I don't think it was a good episode, but nor do I think it was bad. It was kind of just a lackluster episode. I think a lot of people were expecting a lot more from a conversation like this between Raven and Yang specifically. So that was the episode. Be sure to let me know what you guys thought of it down in the comments. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're interested in more content like this. Follow me on all social medias and I'll see you in the next video.